Hi everybody, my name is Kevin and this is Rob and Kyle. I'm Hi, from the everybody. Northwest New Jersey Beekeepers Association. What we're going to do today is install two packages of bees into Rob's hive. We're here at Tom and Chuck Farms and we're going to do hive number one first. So let me just walk through the practice real quick. We're going to take this hive out and take a couple, or take the hive cover off and the inner cover off, take a couple frames and set them aside. We're going to take this uh, cover off of the top of the box that we have here and pull out the feeding can and the queen. We're going to give the queen to Rob to hang on to for keep safekeeping. We'll bang these bees down into the bottom of the box and we're going to dump them right into the hive body. And then we'll get the queen security in there and close everything up. We're going to do two hives. It should go pretty smoothly. Uh -huh. So let's get to this. Um, first thing we're going to do take this package and set it over here for now. Rob, if you would, um, grab the inner cover for me and take it off. Let's take four frames out of the center and we'll just put those on the side here. Just set them down somewhere over right here, it's fine. And we're going to take um, our first package of bees and you want to do this on a relatively warm day. In a sunny condition right now the wind has picked up it's been uh, absolutely quiet the whole time we've been in here but what I'm gonna do is just pry this top off we got a couple pairs of pliers we got um, screwdrivers whatever we need but I'm gonna see if I could do this with the hive tool just a couple staples are holding this in got that off set this aside so Rob, what we're going to do here is we're going to use this strap that comes with it to pull the can out. That's how you do that. And the queen should be right there with it. So if you could get the screwdriver, let's do that so we don't break the strap. Pry that up. I'm wearing gloves because I absolutely hate to be stung on the hands. So that's, that's um, something we're going to make sure we don't lose that. So come on over here, Kyle, and hold on to that for me. While I take this can out. All right, so all the bees are right here with the can. I'm just going to shake it a little bit. If I'm worried about it, I could bang this on the ground. I'm just going to slide it out slowly. He's going to hold on to that. I think. Um, let me. I'm getting ahead of myself here, Rob. Let's do this. Grab your sprayer. And one of the things we want to do is let's just spray the bees real lightly. That way they're not going to fly when I pop this can out. I would spray, yeah, that's it. We're just spraying them with a one-to-one -one sugar solution. You want to spray them on this side too. It kind of coats their wings. It gives them something to do. They're going to clean themselves off. Good. And I'm actually going to bang this. Let it go for me. I'm going to bang it on the ground and get those bees out. So bang them down. Okay, now they're in the bottom of the box. Hold that again so we don't lose it. Let's get this off. Now it's a little easier because they're not all around it. Could see some bees go airborne here, nothing to get excited about. They'll pretty much stay close. The lip caught on the edge. There we go. All right, so this is the feed that they're given, and here's the queen. We're going to look in here and see if the queen is alive. Everybody's moving. So I'm going to just shake this off a little bit and give that to Rob. And you put that in your pocket, keep her clean. I'm going to brush her off. We're going to set these guys over here by the entrance, and they'll find their way. So again, the bees are in here. They're all clustered down on the bottom. I'm going to take it one more time, bang it against the ground, and then I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to dump them in. Shake them in. Now they've been sprayed with sugar water. Now Kyle, what you can do is come on over here for me. See they're flying around but they're not bothering us. One more time. You're just going to slowly take those frames and put them in on top of them. I've got a lot of the bees out. Some of them are still here. 
I'm going to set it at the entrance. Just let it be there. And we're going to put them in. Take our time. They're flying around, but they're not bothering us. Haven't been stung so far. Just gently put them in. How many have we got left? One. That's good. Let's just leave on this one. You got a rubber band, Rob? Then we'll get the queen. Uh, Here, they're on. Use that frame that we they're have. on your wrists, Kevin. Oh yeah, you have it. Okay, so we actually had one here with a rubber band. So let me um, let me have the queen, if you would. Let's take that thing off of it. See if you can get that off, mm -hmm. or just, just tear it. That's good. So here's a queen cage. I'm gonna bring that over, and you can see the queen is in there. And she's moving around. And we're going to tuck her right in now. If you look at these ends, there's one end and another end, and they have plugs on them. And this end is filled with bee candy. Oh. Oh, there's one that got me on the ear. I'm just going to put this in here. And we prepared a piece of tape. Tape over the entrance, and Rob, if you would go ahead and just set the queen, the, set the queen right in there. Now we want to make sure that the cage. This is uh, actually the wrong way, right? Because she's. Uh, How about on the other side? Yeah. Flip so the. Let's, let's switch it around to the other side. side. Now see, I got stung just above the ear, and I uh, got the pheromone on me, and they're coming to that spot. Do you want spot me to pull here, it out? I'm okay. I'm gonna put this back on here. Make sure that that doesn't fall off. So, now that the bees are in there, we're going to set her down. We want to have her facing the inside of the hive, right above the cluster. They know that she's going to be there. And we put the tape on it. Put this here, and, and uh, Kyle, if you would get the... Inner cover for me. That, you that right put, there. putting the feeder on? Not yet. Okay. There's my hot tool. Right I'm gonna I'm gonna put these frames together a little bit here, so they tighten up some. And we're gonna take the center cover and put it on. I'm gonna slide it gently, nice and slow. Don't squish anybody. Good. Take the top cover over. I'm going to wave it a little bit, and they're going to sense that something's happening here, and they'll get out of the way, and then I'll just set it down, and give it a little wiggle, and we should be good to go. Okay, that's that. Now these bees that are in this box, if you set them here, they'll just come out and find the front of the hive and at some point we'll put a feeder on them and feed them and they'll be off to a good start. Did you guys get stung either one of you? No sir. No? Good. Alright, that's hive number one. Okay, on to hive number two. Put my veil on for this one because we have some bees flying around and uh, I gotta go to work tomorrow and I don't necessarily want to look like I'm all swollen up so <laughs> let's um, prevent from getting stung on the head. So we're gonna take this one and do just a little bit pretty much the same approach but a little bit different. Rob what I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead and spray these guys down. Now you don't want to spray them down on a cool day. You gotta be careful with that. Usually when you see people spray the bees down they use a hand pump sprayer. Um, this is just again a sugar solution. You sprayed my glove there, Rob. They're gonna Sorry. love me. Yeah, they're gonna love you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bang these guns down, gals. And then I'm gonna come up here and pry this top off. My hot tool good. Shot. Grab a hot tool. Good and, and wet them down. They look uh, glistening, so. 
These bees came from, I guess, Georgia mm -hmm. just the other day. Stan Wazatowski from uh, SNF Honey Farms. There, there are so many of the bees that he brought up. How the heck am I going to get to that? There we go. Take this can, which has still got quite a bit in it. I'm going to say it's three quarter. Usually these there are filled with uh, high fructose corn syrup that allows the bees to have something to eat while they're in transit from wherever they're coming from. We've got a queen here. We're going to shake off a couple of her closest friends. And again, we'll give her to Rob. We're going to check and see if she's in there. And there she is. She looks good. She's got a couple of tendons. Now I see a couple of dead attendants in there. I'm going to tap that down so that they're in the bottom and not. So I want, to see, I want you to see that, Rob. If you look in there, you're going to see the dead bees are stuck to the wax. Yep. And you want to make sure that the queen can get out when she needs to. Let's see if you can show that in the camera. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. So we want to be careful not to harm our queen here. All right, I think we got them. So you can just put her in there. All right, now one more time. We're gonna dump this new box of girls to their home. Good. Shaking them down. Just smashed one with my glove and she stung me. so that they can come in. This thing out. Boom. They're all over that sugar water on my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and uh, gently put those in. You want to make sure you don't mush them down. So as you get in, you're going to put a little pressure on them. And as soon as they feel that pressure, they'll move. That's good. Where's our clean one? There. Good. All right, Rob, go ahead and uh, put our queen in there. And we we got a piece of tape there. So we want to put the queen in there. This way. Is that right? Where the candy is facing up. So the candy the candy's, uh, is on the Yeah, you got it. Okay. And then Actually, the other way. I believe this is the. Let's take that. To, uh, well, no, I guess it's okay. You can leave it in there. Okay. Something we read recently was you put a piece of tape on this. Oh, that tape is not as thick as this. Put a piece of tape on because you don't want Need to another piece? Too much, too quickly here. Need another tape? I think we're okay. Okay. You don't want them to release the queen too quickly. You need her to stay in there so that her pheromone and whatever is uh, there for them to get acclimated. She stayed in place, right? Can you put her in there? Yep. Let's put the inner cover on. That's that one. Now, Sharon, if you could come in here, I want to show something real quick. Already what we see is we see some of these bees like this, where it's posture, and you're, you're in the sun, so kind of scoot to the side. The bee is head down, tail end in the air. The back of the abdomen is pumping. And what it's doing is it's releasing a pheromone. And you're going to see them line up across this bottom board and do the same thing. They're basically coming out and indicating to the to the rest of these bees that are outside that she's in here. <laughs> They're sending their signal out so that everybody knows where she's at. Pretty cool. 
pretty docile bees you got. You can see one right here already. Um, got its back end in the air and it's pumping. And they're going to come out and they're going to send that signal to get everybody out of this box back into the hive. So. All right, two hives down, and you're off. Oh, there's another one in it. Stung me. Stung the glove, didn't get me. Just pick me. Just brush it off if it's a... Okay, all done. All good. I like that sugar water on my gloves. <laughs> all, all, all over. So, that wraps up these two hives. We're going to, at some point, come back later when they're settled down. We'll put a feeder on them. You can see the feeders are sitting here. We'll put a little sugar water on them. When you get new bees started, you want to do a one-to-one -one solution. And uh, they're still looking for the sugar water on my gloves. Um, you'll do a one-to-one -one solution and feed the bees. And you're going to continually feed them so that as they're working, uh, they're able to build the wax and, and get things going. Did you guys get stung? Good. All right. That's hive number one. I'm just walk off here. That's it. It's not bad. I got one that, that got aggravated and was here, but underneath my ear, when I moved my glasses, it pinged me. Damn it. Where? Back of your ear? Yeah, right above it, on the top. See anything? Yeah. There it is. There it is. Yep. So it didn't hit me hard, it just pricked me. <laughs> Alright, it's on the sleeve. I didn't want to roll my sleeve up oh, yeah. on this thing. <laughs> Not bad. How'd we do, Heidi? Okay? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> well, you got Did I forget here. anything, Shan? No, when do you put the feeder on? After. Okay. I'm going to wear my belt for this one. So I think might be just because we're standing in the ones that are already flying around, so. Not too hard, right? No, See, I... You wouldn't think you could bang them on the ground and shake them, right? I wouldn't think so. I thought you wouldn't think so, but they're, they're okay with it. I think we need to spray them a little more, Rob. Yeah. But I think what we want to do is give them a quick spritz. And then spritz them again. on the other side. Bang them down and let them spread out and spray them one more time. Yep. Yeah, because these guys because are Because they're up. Yeah. Actually, they're doing, it's really well. Really. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. They're good. Really what you did. They're not, it's not crazy out here. No. So. No, when we did it, when the guys did it, they had one hive. There was like, from this circle, it was just like. Dark Whoa. cloud of angry bees. <laughs> yep. How you doing over there, Chief? I'm good. Yeah? Close <laughs> <laughs> So that'll have to be in the edit, you'll have to edit her out. <laughs> You're fine, you can come right up here. I know I can, I just can't do it. Alright, you wanna you wanna do this one or you want me to do it? And you do the ones over to Hauser's? What do you think? You do this one at your taping. Okay. Alright, you ready, Sharon? Ready. I didn't I didn't know what the I didn't know what it was going to look like the, because the ones that I've seen have a different arrangement for the way that the queen is. Uh huh. So. Well, I, I checked out the uh, I checked out, uh, the 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 uh, the dance site. Oh yeah, the dance, the dance, yeah. the dance. The four crown face. See how they're, they're yellow right around the abdomen and they got black tails, right? Mm -hmm. That's a sign of an Italian queen, an Italian bee. And there's other kinds of bees and they might have dark brown or gray stripes or whatever. 
These are known as gentle. You see this guy here, what he's doing? He's got his back end up in the air and he's spraying pheromone out. And they're all in here going, where's my queen, right? The queen's been in this cage the whole time. And she's been having a pheromone and these guys with their tails up in the air, spraying stuff out, saying to anybody that's in the air, here's we're over queen. here. Now what you'll see is you see this one here, see it? This one knows the queen's in there and he's spraying the pheromone out and they're all trying to tell everybody come in here, right? This is their signal. A lot of times when they're up on top of the hive though and you got their back ends up and they're looking at you, that's that means they're up. Yeah. They're, they're aggravated and they're spraying the pheromone going, okay, we need to amass a, some sort of protection, but not here because they don't, what happens with a hive is they defend a hive, right? There's nothing for them to defend. It's it's brand new to them. So here, they're just sending signal out. Here's the hive. And they're all clustered in here. You could be sure of it. Let's see. If you look down on the bottom board, you see them all in there. And you know, look, they're not gonna sting you, right? They're just, they're, they're pretty docile. You can touch them and they're not gonna bother you. How can you tell the difference between like the different like worker bees and well, what happens with the queens is, or with the uh, the different bees, are they go through? Um, it's a what's called a cast system, and what it means is that the new bees perform a certain duty, and then once they're a certain age, they switch their duty, and then after that age, they switch another duty. So they'll start out coming out of the hive and they'll take care of the hive, for example. They'll walk around and clean up any dead bees, they'll clean up any debris in the hive, they'll do all that stuff. Then after they go through that stage, which is a couple days, you know, and they clean the cells and they do that, they switch to a nurse bee where they go and they tend the young, right? They tend the larvae and feed them and do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they go into um, a, a honey feeding, Right, that they bring the nectar back and they take the nectar from the other bees and they store it and they dry it and they go through that. Then after that stage, they become a forager bee where they go out and they end their life as a forager where they're out looking for nectar and bringing it back to the hive. You know, and if you need a new queen, they'll perform some activities and do other stuff. So, but I mean, most people wouldn't think you could stand here right in the midst of them all and not get stung a thousand times. Come on over, Heidi. <laughs> I can see just fine from here. <laughs> All right, let's do hive number two. So we'll we'll put the lid on and put this guy over here, and we'll, we'll if you film us, Sharon, we'll say, okay, now we're gonna step on to hive number two. You can go ahead and take them out. Okay. He's got a rubber band on. Okay, on to hive number two. Put my veil on for this one because. Can you see me or my head cut off? You're okay. Okay. Should I say that over again? No, Sorry. you were fine. I'll just leave it sit for a second and take it. Still tied together. 